and somebody saying, gun is empty, gun isn't loaded. Um, and then I see the cops come out. Uh, after that, I didn't see the first guy initially. I believe he left the building a lot sooner before I had got to the window. Um, but after that, they kind of have everybody step back because I don't know if the gun was actually loaded or not. Um, after that, I'm believing the guy drew his gun, not too sure. Um, but after that, there were a few shots let out and then after that, I just stepped back because where I didn't do you live? Wanna... I Sir, live. Uh... Hold on one second. And you saw you, you said you heard to a woman. Yes. Screaming. So a woman outside. Yes, what was she were, saying? Uh, she was saying the gun isn't loaded. Put the gun down, please. Don't shoot. She was also telling the um, guy to put his hands up. Um, just put the gun down. Put your hands up. Don't do anything. And I guess the guy wasn't listening to him. And do you think she was uh, his girlfriend? I'm not sure about girlfriend. I feel like they might have been related. Um, I didn't actually know the people that were there. I believe they lived in the building, but as far as... Had you as, seen them before in the building? Um, I believe so, yeah. Both of them? And you were looking outside the window. Was this person a black man? I didn't see him. I didn't actually see the guy. That's what I'm saying. I just want to... I kind of want to make sure everybody knows everything first. I don't want to jump to any conclusions myself um, just because I know that can also spark a lot of controversy, things like that. So I don't want to be that guy to say this is this is exactly what happened. I just want to be the guy to say, hey, I was here. I seen what happened. I didn't see everything that happened, but this is what I can tell you from my perspective so far. Pretty shaken up? Yeah, it was, I was definitely shaken up. <laughs> I, there's no other way to describe it after you see something like that, you know, especially right outside your window, um, to just kind of rethink and replay that over. Um, it's going to be something that I'll have to get through, but it's definitely something I'm glad that nobody else had gotten involved, anything like that. I'm glad it, it happened at the time that it did, um, because I know there's a lot of foot traffic around here and things like that, and so I'm concerned about anybody else getting hurt as well. Sir, did you hear any orders or commands from the police before the shots were fired? I believe I heard them say, put the gun down. Um, I can't be sure exactly, but I believe that's what I heard. And the woman calling for help, she was calling for help inside the building or outside the building? Outside of the building. Outside the building. Yeah. What, was she, what was she saying specifically? Um, I heard, help me, help me, and then we heard, um, he's trying to kill me. And then after that, I just went to the window to see what was going on. But you really couldn't see anybody? Mm -mm. Okay. Only person I seen was the woman running outside, um, and she was, like, right behind the police, so. What did she look like? Um, like a younger African-American woman, um, can't really describe features very well, mm -hmm. she just looked, uh, younger um asking them to not shoot you said um, that you'd see them both here before who's them? Did, did you uh know which floor they one of them lived on or i do not can we get your yeah. name uh deandre gatewood can you spell both of those for us d-e apostrophe capital a and d-r-e gatewood is g-a-t-e w-o-o-d I've lived here since I was 